Hey everyone, Kibi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of the Alpha Signage Mod 9 ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch has been updated, so I'm doing an updated video. I do have a video showing you how to install this ROM. The process is different, so make sure you watch that. I will link to that in the description of the video. First of all, bugs, uh, things I want to go over. Right away, you might notice the Play Store isn't going to work. You'll actually download an, uh, an application and it'll come up with an error. The way to fix this is go press menu, go to manage apps, and then you'll see you can scroll up here. You have to scroll over and select all, and then go down to Google Play Store. And once you find Google Play Store, what you're going to need to do is hit clear data and hit OK and then hit force stop, and then hit OK, and then right away, just hit reboot, and then hit OK. So reboot your phone right away, uh, right after you do the clear data, force stop, and reboot, and it should work. It might, you might have to do that a few times. In my case, I had to do it four times, so uh, you, you're gonna have to be patient with that. If you can't get it to work, it does take a little while to settle in, but um, as you can see, I downloaded maps from the market, so I did get it working uh, appropriately. Uh, in regards to maps, GPS works great. I got a lock right away. Didn't have to do any GPS fix um, whatsoever. I mean, everything does work. The only really thing that doesn't work is video recording. Camera works fine. You can take great pictures with Sanjimon 9. So, as you can see right there, taking a nice picture. But don't even try and select video recording. Don't even start a video recording. You can select it. Don't start one because your phone will lock up and you have to pull your battery. Uh, but camera works. Video recording does not. Hopefully that will come in the future. But that's pretty much the only bug. 4G works. GPS works. Text messaging calls. Everything works except except the video recording as well as uh, Netflix. That kind of ties into the video recording. So it should be once one gets fixed, the other should get fixed. So if you watch Netflix on your phone, you're kind of out of luck with Sign Engine Mod 9 Alpha. Anyways, let's get into the review, the full review. As you can see, you've got your, I believe it's the Trebuchet Launcher. That is your only option. You can install other ones from the market or the Play Store if you so choose. Uh, first of all, go to Settings, scroll down, go to About Phone, and as you can see in About Phone, Android version 4.0.3, ice cream sandwich right there, Sign Jima 9 uh, version right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out other things within the settings itself. You have some launcher set. Obviously, you got your Wi-Fi settings. You can go into Wi-Fi, turn it on. Um, 3G works, 4G works. Uh, you got launcher settings right here. So you have home screen, which is number of home screens. Um, you can have basically transition effects, other things as well. That just some some settings you can do with your home screen. Drawer settings, obviously transition effects, other settings, indicators, etc. Dock settings, uh, there's nothing there. Icons too. General is just auto rotate screen, so you can have it auto rotate your screen if you would like within those settings. Other things, you have themes, which is just a placeholder for now. Hopefully that will come in the near future. You have system settings. System settings being these right here. Um, you'll see. In your notification pull down bar right here you got notification uh, buttons up at the top wi-fi bluetooth gps sound 4g those are by default um, otherwise you have a uh, notification drawer you can um, show which buttons you want to show just kind of check which button so if you want to toggle airplane mode toggle brightness as you can see both of those show up at the top you can scroll through them as you can see you can scroll through so if I want to turn on my LED light uh, you'll see it turns on right there so very cool that uh, that turned on right away um, you can obviously turn that off right there so I mean you could really go through and uh, basically mess with your settings or you can change the order of them just go to widget button order as well and you can change the order that you have those uh, which is pretty cool so other options that you do have you have lock screen options I don't it's just a stub still um, it's gonna be there in the future hopefully just like the themes uh, wallpaper obviously font size as well um, so you got status bar settings as well show the clock a.m. p.m. style battery status style uh, you can have it be percentage so as you can see up at the top it's just kind of the stock ice cream sandwich icon you can have it be percentage with an icon as well as the percentage next to it as well as hidden so you can hide it as well um, which is if you like doing that you can hide it I like having the icon. You can have the signal, you can have it be text signal and hidden as well. So if you don't want the signal to show. So you've got those different options, which is pretty cool. Other than that, other settings that you do have, you have advanced right here. Within the settings, um, you have Galaxy S2 settings, you have some screen settings. 
and uh, sensor settings. Uh, be careful with those. Just kind of make sure you know what you're doing when you mess with those. Performance settings as well. Proceed with caution. I don't think this uh, you can overclock or anything yet. Um, you can't. As you can see, it's set to 200 min, 1200 max uh, by default. So you don't even mess with those. Um, otherwise, you, I mean, it's, it's uh, signage of 9, of course, made to emulate the stock ice cream sandwich experience, uh, which is very cool. Um, you got your app drawer, of course, with all of your apps, all your Google apps, of course. You have visual voicemail working, which is great. I know a lot of people do complain that, oh, I'm on Signage Mod 9, so voicemail does not work, visual voicemail. Well, it does now, so just keep that in mind. Uh, messaging app, very nice messaging app. You've got your stock ice cream sandwich keyboard as well. Let's go ahead and text Google for 66453. I've got them in my contacts, and we'll say hi to them. And as you can see, you got your stock messaging app. Everything is very smooth and fluent too. Um, big shout out and thanks to Darkstar and anyone else that was involved, S. Brisson as well. So shout out to them, uh, the developers of this ROM, of course. So as you can see, works very well. Uh, very nice uh, that that's going. Dialer wise, nice themed ice cream sandwich dialer. You can swipe through uh, call log as well as favorites and contacts. You got all your contacts. You can scroll through them as you can see. So uh, very cool. Um, contacts application as well as your phone application. Music wise it looks like it has an older music application um, which isn't in, they haven't uh, released the Sign Jamon one uh, for the builds I don't think yet so that will come in the future as well. Uh, browser wise you have your stock ice cream sandwich browser which works very well um, I believe Chrome should work don't hold me to that uh, or um, I'm pretty sure it works don't hold me to it though as I said um, so as you can see you've got uh, stock ice cream sandwich browser working very well you can add uh, tabs you can swipe away tabs if you have more than one open which is pretty nice actually let me test it I'm gonna go ahead and install Chrome all right, and as you can see, Chrome Beta, I just downloaded and installed it. So let's go ahead and see if it locks up on us. So let's go ahead and accept and continue. I'm not going to sign in as of right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and try and go somewhere. Let's go to Google.com. Um, and then we will see how it works. It, it generally locks up when you use more than one tab. So we will kind of see how that goes. I connected to my Wi-Fi in case you were wondering. I'm not sure why Google.com didn't just come up. That's kind of strange. Um, let's just type in Google and it should go to a search. Okay, so there's Google. Let's go to a new tab actually. Um, let's tap on it. Uh, looks like it locked up. Unfortunately, it looks like Chrome's not working. Chrome has not responding. Would you like to close it? So there you have it. There's your answer to is Chrome beta working? Uh, apparently not. So force closes on you. You can swipe away your notifications, of course, in the notification bar right there. Another quick little tip. Um, you can actually, up at the top of your uh, notification bar, press and hold on the icon that you want to go to, and it will take you to that setting. So as you can see, it takes me to the GPS settings, which is kind of cool that you can press and hold on it. If you want to go to Bluetooth settings, press and hold on it, and it will take you to your Bluetooth settings. So kind of a little trick there that uh, some of you guys might not know about. Of course, you have your folder options. Just drop apps on top of each other. You can change the name of them. Just type on name folder and you can change the name. So um, nice that you have those folder options. Of course, I believe you have face unlock. Let me go ahead and double check. We will go to our security and lock screen and face unlock should be there. Go to screen lock, face unlock. There it is. So you got your face unlock. I'm not going to test it out. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Um, I will not do that. You have additional options with menu unlock. So pressing the menu button unlocks the device. Let's try that. Um, let's go ahead and press the menu button and it unlocked it so kind of cool I don't know if you have to turn the screen on you do so turn the screen on press the menu button and it will unlock your phone So actually pretty uh, nice feature there. I don't know if you guys knew that was there. It's actually really cool actually um, Anyways other things that's that's really about it lock screen wise Of course you have your stock ice cream sandwich where you go to camera or unlock you can swipe down on the notification bar right here um, in case you were wondering while well, it's locked. Um, you have your widgets as well. Some of them are resizable such as the bookmarks widget. Let's go ahead and drop this on another screen um, and we will test that out. So pick it up, drop it right back down, show some dots. You can resize them. They are scrollable as well. So uh, you can scroll through them. So kind of nice that this launcher allows that, the ice cream sandwich launcher of course. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Everything is very smooth, running very well. I haven't ran into any issues whatsoever, other than that market issue, but uh, I went ahead and showed you guys a workaround for you. 
Um, but uh, really, other than that, everything is very nice. So definitely a ROM you're going to want to check out, the Senjima 9 Alpha ROM. Um, it's pretty much almost in beta state, if you would ask me. Video recording is pretty much the only thing, and I rarely ever use that on my phone. So um, I really have no problem running this. That's why I'm charging my phone. I'm actually going to be heading out after I do this video, so I will uh, need a full charge because I'm heading out with this ROM anyways. So I'll be doing some testing, further testing with this ROM. But that's just a full review of the Senjima 9 Alpha ROM on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video below. Be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.